Welcome back to another graphic design tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a sneaker poster design. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to change the color of the sneaker, adding texture details, creating a nice background using gradient option, and adding a light fall over the surface. So let's begin with the designing process. Open a new Photoshop document. We're going to use a sneaker image for this design. So drag in the PNG image inside the document. You can use any other shoe for your design. The technique is going to remain the same. Scale up the size and place it in the center. Now the first thing we're going to do is to create the shape of the shoe. So click on the thumbnail of the shoe layer with the control pressed. This will make a selection. Now add a new layer, change the fill color to blue using the color picker panel and apply it using the shortcut alt backspace. Thus, we got a shape of the shoe in a new layer. Next, we need the separate shape of the upper region. So, to get that, first hide the new layer. Then, with the control pressed, click on the thumbnail of the shoe layer to make a selection. We need to select only the upper region. So, select the pen tool and start tracing out the shoe from the middle region. Follow along the shape of the shoe. Click and drag to make curve smooth. Trace it properly so that we get only the upper part. Then finish the tracing from where it begin. Now right click and choose make selection. Under this panel, choose intersect with selection. This will select only the intersection region. Now add a new layer and apply fill color. This time give a different color. This way, we got two shapes. Now hide both the layers and delete the shape layer. Next, we'll create a shape of the logo. So using the pen tool, start tracing out the shape. Simply disable the fill color for easy tracing. After that, fill the shape with white color and hide it. Now we'll select the orange colored part. Take the pen tool and start tracing out the shape. Click and drag to maintain the curve and follow along the shape. After selection, fill it up with the yellow color. If you want to edit the shape, select the die selection tool and select the points to adjust. Adjust the curves with the help of handles. So here we'll be applying a blend mode for the fill color. To do that, we need only single color on each shape. So select these two shapes layer and place it on top. Here. The dark blue color layer is under the shape 1 layer. So click on the thumbnail of the shape 1 layer by holding the control key. Then select the fill color layer and delete out the selection region. We'll do the same steps for the second shape also. So click on the thumbnail of the second shape to make a selection. Then select the bottom shape layer and delete out the region. After that hide all the layers. Now select the top part and change the blend mode to multiply. Next select the second shape and change the blend mode to overlay. Then change the fill color to orange. Now select the image and apply hue and saturation. Decrease the saturation level completely. This will completely remove the color. After that by pressing the alt key. Clip the hue and saturation adjustment layer to the image layer. This way, the effect will be only applied to the image. Now, we'll adjust the color of the top part. To do that, double click on the layer. We'll get a layer style panel. In that panel, apply color overlay. Then change the blend mode to multiply and apply blue color. Here, you can see the image is very dark. So to fix that, 
will change the color of the shape. So with the control pressed, click on the thumbnail to make a selection of the top shape. Now press control backspace and apply white color to the selected area. This will brighten up the texture. Then hide the effects and check whether the white color is applied or not. By changing the blend mode to normal, we can see that the white color is applied to it. So now, switch on the effects and change the blend mode to multiply again. Then go to color overlay and choose some dark violet color. Next, enable all the layers, select the shape one and change the blend mode to overlay. Now select the shape option and go to fill color and choose some faded purple color. Now we'll add some details on the second shape layer. To do that, select the elliptical marker tool and create out a small circle on the shoe. After that, hold the shift key to add some more circles. After adding circles, apply mask to it. To reverse the masking region, Press Command or Control I. It will invert the color and add a nice circular details to the shoe. In the next step, we'll create a shape at the bottom portion of the shoe. So, let's take the pen tool and start tracing out the shape. Try to follow the shape of the shoe. Next, select the Direct Selection tool and edit the anchor points to maintain the flow. After that, Fill it up with purple color using the color picker option. Next, double click on the layer to open the layer style panel. On the layer style panel, switch on bevel and ambers. Edge the size, depth and soften the amount of the shape to give a soft blend with the shoe. Next, switch on pattern overlay and change the blend mode to overlay. After that, choose a pattern to match the shape. Choose a noisy pattern. This will add a nice texture to the shape, making it look like a part of the shoe. Then scale up the pattern and edge the opacity level for the shape. After this, change the blend mode of the layer to multiply. This will properly blend the pattern shapes with the shoe. Next, select all the layers and group it up. Now, we'll create the background of the poster. So, add a new layer and select the rectangle tool. Then, create outer rectangle same size of the work area. Next, go to fill and apply gradient color. Then, double click on the first slider to open the color picker panel. Here, choose dark red color and click OK. Next, add under slider in the middle and choose faded pink color. After that, add under slider beside that and choose light faded pink color. Now drag the last slider toward the middle and set some dark color like an intersection point in the background. Beside that, add a slider and apply faded red color in it. At the last, Add under slider and apply some brighter red color. Now keep on adjusting the gradient colors in order to achieve a smooth faded background with a perspective depth. Apply bright color in the middle portion and dark colors at the top and bottom. So edge the gradient color until we get a smooth background with a nice depth. Next, take a new layer and change the blend mode to linear dodge. Now with the soft brush tool with opacity around 80%, apply a light spot on the right side. So choose the red color for this light source and here you can see a light fall over the sneaker. Now take another new layer for the second light source. For this also, change the blend mode to color dodge. We'll choose dark green color for this. Now apply a light spot with the brush tool at the left side. 
And now we need to add light fall reflection on the shoe. So click on the thumbnail of the shoe layer by pressing the control key. Then take a new layer and apply brush stroke with dark green color on shoe top left portion. After that, change the blend mode to color dodge. Now we'll see the difference before applying the highlight and after applying it. Next, we'll type out the title of the poster design. So press T for the type tool and type out a text. Now choose a suitable font style and apply white color to the text. After that, under character attribute panel, edge the spacing between each of the alphabets. Next, we'll apply gradient color to your text. So double click on the text layer and apply gradient overlay under layer style panel. Choose any of the gradient color. After that, for the first slider, choose some pale pink color. And choose a greenish blue color for the second slider. After that, set the angle around 40. And now, take a copy by pressing Alt key and rename it. Take under copy and add some more text and scale it down. Give a suitable font to the text. For this, delete the gradient overlay effect. After that, we can see that the shoe color is little dull. So we'll add brightness and contrast adjustment layer and place it on top of the image layer. Here, edge the contrast and the brightness level of the shoe color. Next, in our previous design, we can see the reflection of the top part of the shoe. So to get that effect, select the color layer and open color overlay style. In that, change the blend mode to overlay and choose some dark color to get a nice look on the shoe. Lastly, let's do some final adjustment with the colors, edges them properly. And finally, we have completed creating a sneaker poster design. During the process, we have seen how to change the color of the product, how to add texture and adding a light fall effect. Follow a tutorial and create your own design using the same techniques. Upload your projects and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you.